When we're working with negatives and we want to physically represent the value of our numbers, we can use chipboards instead of number lines. On our chipboards, our black chips are going to represent positive values and our red chips are going to represent negative numbers. So if I wanted to represent positive 5 on my chipboard, I could simply put 5 black chips on my chipboard to show a value of positive 5. Same thing if I wanted to display negative 4, I could place 4 negative chips on my board and it would represent negative 4. Now there's a few ways to display 0. Obviously an empty chipboard is going to represent a value of 0. But when working with positive and negatives, if I have a positive chip on my board and I add a negative chip on my board, together they're going to represent 0 because positive 1 and negative 1 are opposites. So together they're going to form a 0 pair. I can have several zero pairs on my board and my board would still have a value of zero because together my three black positive chips and my three red negative chips cancel each other out so they have a combined value of zero. We can also change a board's value by creating zero pairs. Here we're starting with a value of positive six but we want our board to show a value of positive four. To do that I can add two negative chips to the board. By adding those two negative chips I create two zero pairs with two of my positive chips, giving them a combined value of zero, so it's only my four positive chips that are left to represent a value of positive four. The same can be true as if I started with a negative value. If I started with a negative five on my board with five negative chips, right now my board represents a value of negative five. I want it to represent a value of negative one. To do that, I can start adding black chips or positive chips to my board to cancel out my negative chips. When I add four black chips to the board, I create four zero pairs, leaving me with one red chip that has value. So now my board represents a value of negative one. We can also pair up zero pairs in order to find a board's value. Here we just have an assortment of black positive chips and red negative chips. We can find the value of our board if we start pairing up our positive and negative values. Together, our positive and negative values are going to create zero pairs and cancel each other out. When we do that, we can see we have one, two, three, four, five, zero pairs. So together they have a combined value of zero. So it's only our red chips that are left that have value on our board. We have one, two, three, four, five red chips. So this board actually has a value of negative five. Sometimes it's very helpful to have a hands-on way to work with negatives. We'll come back to using chipboards more when we work on adding and subtracting with negative values.